just a quick demo here. I've got an Arduino with a Wii Shield. You can get this from asynclabs.com. I guess it uses a 0G wireless chip, which is that guy. And then the Async Labs guys just put a few components around it to make it compatible with Arduino. It plugs right into the headers there. They've got a whole bunch of good sample code on their site. So this is a sample sketch they give you. Uh, the Wii Shield can act as a web server and a web client. This is actually a client example. So in this case, we're going to post a status update. We've got this temperature and humidity. And this is going to come from a sensor eventually, but for right now, it's just hard-coded. There's the IP of my laptop. And then the post request, it's going to actually post to that IP address on this port, which is where my app server is running. Um, it's going to just post to the root, and it's going to post that status body. And then it's going to do the same thing, repeat here every 10 seconds. You can see it down here. Uh, the web server is written in Ruby using a really small framework called Sinatra. So you can actually create a post here on the root, and all it does is just returns a string. It's going to get the temperature and humidity out of the uh, post body. So let's go over here and start our server. And then we'll push the sketch to the Arduino here. Pretty big sketch, about 15k for all the wireless libraries. And then when this red LED lights on top of the shield there, that's when it's connected to the wireless network here in the house. There we go. And if we go back over to the server, there we go, there's already some posts, so it's posting to that web app. And if we bring up the serial monitor here. We'll actually get some debugging from the Arduino itself. The Wii Shield library comes with a little bit of debugging stuff. So it's in verbose mode right now. So there's some garbage left over because I started the monitor in the middle. So there you go. HTTP OK. So there's our app just returning that string with the temperature and humidity back and the current time. And that's it. Wii Shield with Arduino. Pretty simple.